What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm inside of a Goodwill looking for the treasure. A couple of new carts come out. I'm checking them out, seeing if I can find anything I can buy and sell on eBay or Amazon. Got a food processor there. Some of those are good to pick up if you can find them in the, the right price range, the right models. But that one, unfortunately, just didn't meet that criteria. On this car, there's just a bunch of home decoration type things. Not really interested in those. Over here in the toys uh, doll, not American Girl. Some cars, some dinosaurs, some Transformers from the 80s. <laughs> yeah, in a bag for $2.99. Some good stuff there. I'll definitely take those. And I also got a VCR in the cart. This was still in the box. Uh, it has been used. $10 and it ended up working when I got home. I tested it. So I'm going to sell that for some money and just checking this game to make sure it's not sealed. Reflection. Sometimes it looks like stuff sealed when it's not. I like picking up Simpsons games when they're sealed. Some of them even unsealed are worth picking up. A lot of board games used are worth picking up, especially if you're an Amazon seller. I'm not seeing anything that stands out to me. Of course, I mentioned, as always, if you see something that you think I can make money on, let me know, because <laughs> watch the videos, you know I walk past obvious stuff all the time, I just don't see it. Even stuff I know to pick up, sometimes I just don't see it. Um, but I don't see anything in the toys. Over here, I see some of these Zenith motion sensor lights, and there's a few of them here. A couple of the boxes, they have been opened. I'm um, just looking at the ones that are sealed. I can sell them on Amazon, make a little bit of money. Really don't want to mess with anything open because you don't know if something's been removed. You don't know if it's been returned. I'd rather just buy the sealed stuff and mess with it. Uh, just saves me time, saves me worry and heartache. <laughs> so grab a couple of those, put them in the cart. All these small profits, they do add up. So happy to find those. I'm just going to see what else is on the shelf here. Here's a Moen. Toilet seat safety rails, you know, they wanted, I think it was 10 bucks. Not really worth picking up at that price. They do sell great if you pick them up really cheap. Here's some model car, like model air, airplane, like spray paint compressor or something. I don't even, don't even really know what it is. These are great if they're new as well. Being used, you know, it's hard to know if there's dried up paint involved in the tubes or something like that. So... I didn't want to mess with them used. I ended up leaving them there. Here's some Christmas. I don't know if that was Christmas decoration, but was not interested in that. And I don't see much of anything else here. Up here is one of these gel and lather con air things like brand new seal on Amazon. Those sell pretty well, actually. Over on this side, I'm checking to see if there's you know, maybe some pots and pans. Here's a little football. And is that a, that clock there? Um, I think I picked that up on another day. I, I obviously didn't realize it was there today. Uh, maybe I picked it up today. <laughs> I don't remember now. Um, yeah, I think that was in a future video. However, I, I did pick up like an Ikea clock new at some point. Maybe it's today. Here is a sewing machine at this Goodwill, but you know what? I saw an ad on Facebook. Uh, first, I find this, uh, and this is the next day, by the way. I find this sealed under the cabinet GE unit for 25 bucks. It's worth picking up. But there's a garage sale advertised on Facebook today, and they had some sewing machines. Three high-end sewing machines. So I did some research. I figured out what I wanted to pay for them, how much they were worth. And uh, I tried to get there on time, but of course there's a road closed. I had the detour, got out, went up. There's already a woman buying one for, I think she was spending $400 on it. I ended up getting one of them though, and it's a very good find. There was even some bonuses that went with it. Of course, I'll be go going over that stuff in the hall part. Also, on the way home, I ran into just a random yard sale. I didn't know what's happening and had found a lot of stuff there as well. But here in Goodwill... I'm still checking and I'm pretty excited about the finds um, at the garage sales. So here's a pressure cooker, overpriced. Uh, here's a couple nail guns. Um, now these are new. 
new inbox, but they want $25 a piece for them. They sell for like $30, maybe $40 max. Uh, this one, I don't even know if it's actually new. So I, I passed those up. Here's a, it looks like Godzilla, but it's just a, a Wilton cake pan um, dinosaur because they don't have the rights to Godzilla. Uh, but it's obvious what they're trying to do there. You know, maybe it's worth picking up. Uh, Wilton cake pans just come down in price, but there's a food and vegetable shredder thing there, and I picked that up brand new in box, actually. Good profit on those. I've been selling a, a bunch of different models I've come across this past year, and a coach bag. So, <laughs> yeah, coach bag not marked up at Goodwill. Insane. I'm almost certain it's, you know, not fake. I checked the tag. Um, the quality and everything seems to be good. So yeah, I'll pick that up for the $5.99 purse price for sure. At this Goodwill, there's some Sperry shoes and uh, I feel like I mentioned this every video. I'm not picking up Sperry's, just the basic ones. They don't do that great on eBay unless they are special. Here's some of these gel Nusa tries, I guess. I, I've had some good luck with these ASIC shoes. So decided to pick those up for $4.99. They're in good condition. Throw them in the cart. There they go. And I'm just seeing if there's any other shoes I want to buy. So head on over here. Check those out. There's a creepy guy I saw in the mirror there. And up here, some... I don't know what these are. Maybe Sockenies? I wasn't interested in them. I don't think there's anything else here. I got shoe-wise. This Goodwill still keeps their shoes pretty low price, so, you know, happy to check those out always. Here is a bunch of Thomas the Tank Engine train track, you know, $12.99. I'm kind of more interested in the plastic tote. I need one, so I just got, decided to grab it. Here's a, what was it, Disney Planes, Dusty, and I thought, hey, this is going to be worth picking up. $2.99, it had some damage, and uh, I looked at the comps, I'm like, yeah, $20, $25, you know, with the damage. It'd probably sit longer, so I did end up putting that back, unfortunately. There's some cheap headphones. Not really interested in buying those. Actually, I think they're for hearing like a baby monitor or something, seems like. Uh, I looked them up, and not selling at all, <laughs> even new. Here's some more car stuff. Now, I probably should have picked up this bag. It's just, I don't know a lot about these things. I don't want to try to individually you know, figure it out. So I just ended up leaving that bag. And look at this. Here's something crazy. This brand new sealed brother fax machine. $14.99 is all it is. Uh, Goodwill did not price that one correctly. These things sell for a lot of money, brand new sealed. Uh, just like a lot of electronics I've mentioned in the past, if you find like the VCRs, the combo units, DVD recorders, um, new sealed, you're looking at uh, probably over a thousand dollars on certain models. So happy to come across that. Here is a globe type thing. It's stuck as a magnet in it. So I just leave it there like that. Why not? But let me show you everything I found today. It's just some absolutely great finds. And the last couple of weeks, you know, I've just found thousands of dollars worth of stuff. Check it out, I got some great items here. This is from a couple days, I hit a couple yard sales and some thrift stores. Let's start back here with this sewing machine. I paid $100 for this at a garage sale. I don't know much about sewing machines, but I saw the garage sale on Facebook and I, I saw that they were gonna be selling three sewing machines and I done some research on them. There's another woman there that bought another one. She paid $400 for that one, but it was only like a $500 $600 sewing machine. This one seems to be the most valuable. There's some comps. Check Terra Peak. You're looking at between eight and $900 depending on what comes with it. I got some stuff down the floor that came with it. Uh, she had these plugged in. They were working. She showed me it was working. This piece right here came with it and this alone sells for $100. 
So that pretty much pays for the sewing machine. Uh, down here, I got the case, of course, the foot pedal, uh, the manuals, just a bunch of other pieces that go with it. So I'm going to price this probably $799 plus shipping. Just wait until it sells. And I'll probably sell that piece separate, actually. So in the end, I'm going to make some great money on this sewing machine. And the other sewing machine, like I said, there was three, was priced $150. It sold for like $200, $250. So I decided to pass on that one. I don't know why what seems to be the best sewing machine was priced lower but hey i'm happy i ended up stopping at a random garage sale and what's funny is i i seem to just always drive up on this yard sale every year i don't even know what's going on i just randomly show up there end up there somehow and usually i'm a bit later because of that but today it was just starting and i got some good stuff these figures, you know, three for 25 cents. I just bought the whole bin. You see the total was $5.75 she wrote on there. Uh, the Pez dispensers, I don't think are anything special. Maybe I can sell the lot here for uh, like 15 bucks or something. I'm not sure. They are from the 80s, I believe. I think one said 89. But the figures are what had me excited and mostly because of these. The monsters in my pocket. Or I guess it's just monster in my pocket, maybe. I remember having some of these as a kid. And I mentioned this year that it was kind of on my bucket list to find some of them. I've never found them in the wild. Just like the Mighty Max stuff, which I also found this year. So a couple, you know, smaller items off my bucket list to finally find. And there's some other stuff in here <laughs> that took me back to my childhood. These little robots. And I had some of this stuff. The ninjas. It seems like the ninjas maybe came in the, like the bubblegum machines, pay a quarter for them. Uh, but I had some of these and I'm like, well, I don't know what, you know, this stuff might be worth. So I just grabbed it all. There's even some X-Men stuff in here, which oddly enough, these are from Hardee's. <laughs> some toys that came from Hardee's, not really worth a whole lot. I think the robots, you know, I might be to sell for 15, the lot, maybe the ninjas too, but the monsters in my pocket, uh, there's a couple. I think it was this one maybe was selling for 20 or 25. Uh, there's another one. I looked them all up. It was selling for about 20 by itself. The rest of them, you know, between like five. I think there's a couple tins in there. Definitely going to make at least $60 on the monster in my pockets. And then some money on the rest of the stuff. So only paying $5.75. It's going to be some great profit in this little tub. Another thing from my childhood, which I had not even thought about. Probably, you know, since I was a kid, battle trolls. <laughs> like it, it just, you know, when you see something that you had as a kid, maybe, and you just forgot about it, and it's been like 30 years or something like that, and you just see it and you just remember it exists. I also had the Terminator one. I remember it had weapons. I, I just, I don't know, it's a weird feeling. You know, things like Ninja Turtles and stuff like that, I, I remember clearly, but this stuff you just forgotten over time. You know, it's not worth a whole lot. It's missing the weapons and stuff, but. 50 cents, I picked it up. Uh, it might be worth like $10 or something. I just bought it to keep. And the stuff at this garage sale is quite cheap. You got this Dr. Dreadful refills, 25 cents a piece. They're brand new sealed. They're like a food type item where you make the uh, food in the Dr. Dreadful lab. You know, it's for collectors mostly because obviously this stuff expired in like 95. So at a quarter though, sealed. People were still paying like 20, 25 dollars it looked like for them on eBay. I also picked up a couple of toy packs here that were new. Got this car set here, which there's one listed for about $20. I don't, I didn't see any comps for that, but it was only a dollar, and this was only 50 cents. The Rimco Mini Mashers. Uh, these are, I believe, like 86. Package is a little beat up, but it is new. Uh, I saw one of these sell new for 120 bucks, so I would assume this one would sell, you know, with the packaging damage for at least $100. So paying 50 cents, I'll definitely take it. I got this globe up here too that was at the sale. It was only 50 cents. This is a scan globe, it lights up, it's in great condition. You know, I should be able to sell this for at least 40 bucks plus shipping. Just crazy. Um, sometimes when you just run into these random sales that you don't really know what's going on. Uh, I, got, I was planning on going to the sewing machine garage sale to pick up a sewing machine. But the other stuff, just, just a great surprise. Oh, I guess I should mention the camera too, which I paid $5 for. It's just a Pentax camera. It's not a great model, 20, 25 bucks, but... $5, it's in good condition. So before I get into the thrift store stuff, I suppose I'm going to talk about this amazing fan. This was a local buy, and I paid $100 for it. It is Emerson 
this thing is, you know, built to last, I guess you could say. I, I think it weighs 30, 35 pounds. It's very heavy. It's actually in very good condition. It's just it's got some dust on it. The blades are in great condition. I saw one of these completely restored sell for $1,200 on eBay. You know, this one does have a few flaws like scraping here and stuff like that. But I actually really like this. I kind of want to just put it in my house. It works. I don't know. I, I'd probably price it $800 plus shipping. And I think at some point it's going to sell. So nice pickup there. Just a cool fan. So now on to the thrift store stuff. I got this Slim CD Space Maker GE. Too bad this isn't a Sony one. It'd be worth a lot because it's a brand new. $24.99. But you know what? I should have no problem selling this on Amazon for probably $140-ish. I saw on eBay it looked like they were selling for about $100 plus shipping new. So going to make some great profit on that. Just got a baseball glove uh, from Goodwill. I think it was like $5.99. Uh, it was selling for like $25, $30. $30. Glove season's kind of over at this point. Um... This stuff just flies off the eBay shelves in the springtime. I'll still get it listed, but I'm going to price it. Um, the spring prices, um, just wait for the season to come back around if somebody wants to pay the 30 bucks. Now that's great. Got a couple of these Zenith motion security lights. They were $4.99 at Goodwill. There's some more there, but I only picked up the two that were still sealed. I just didn't want to mess with any unsealed product because I plan on just selling these on Amazon. I think they were selling for like 25 ish So I'll just make some quick money on those. Here is a nice pickup. These Uniden loud and clear phones. Uh, they've been featured on the channel before. Seems like I recently sold just the base for about $60 on eBay. You see I paid a dollar at the thrift store for this. I might just sell it all on Amazon for, I think they're selling new for about 180 uh, no used ones, so I could come in at about 120 ish dollars, something like that. They listed new on eBay for like 140. I don't think this model was on there, um, used either. Loud and clear, amplified. Yeah, people are looking for these. Oh, I almost forgot about the Brother Fax 575. Found this at Goodwill. It is brand new, sealed as well. 14. 99 is what I paid for it. You know, Brothers Restricted for me on Amazon, but luckily they're still selling great on eBay. Over $200 brand new sealed. I mentioned many times some of the sealed electronic stuff, vintage, you know, the combo units, VCRs, all that kind of stuff, just big money sealed. I'm going to sell this and I'm going to make some very good profit on it. Below it for $9.99, I picked up a Sanyo VCR and this one is opened. It's used and I'm going to test it out, make sure it works. If not, We'll send it back to Goodwill, get a return with the box, with the remote, all that on eBay. I should be able to sell it for $40, maybe $50 since it has the box and stuff. So not a bad pickup for $10. Here is a vintage food and vegetable cutter. And I, you know, I've been selling like the Squeezo and what's the other one? The Victori, Victorio or something like that. I sold those squeeze of I sold for like a hundred dollars. Like this is kind of like an off brand one, but um, it might be new. I never did any further looking. It's like kind of wrapped up either somebody wrapped up to protect it or it's still new in there, uh, but pre-owned. Uh, they were still selling. I found some on eBay. It looked like for about 50 bucks plus shipping. I paid $3.99 for that. So I'll definitely take it. I guess I had one more garage sale item. Uh, the, where I got the sewing machine, there's also this Eagle Fish Finder. Looked like it was selling for about 50 bucks. And I paid uh, $15 for it. It's got all the stuff that you need to operate it. A little dirty. I'll wipe it up. Price at $49.99. It will sell. I, every fish finder I find ends up selling so i always try to pick them up if it makes sense here's a couple shoes i got i picked up uh well oh there goes the pez dispensers gel noosa tries sometimes these are amazing especially if they're the newer ones the nines are a bit older still 25 30 bucks i should be able to sell those for no problem they're in pretty clean condition uh goodwill cart came out and these are on there they're just the san antonio shoe company free times they got a couple black marks that will wipe off off. The black typically makes you more money. The black ones I always sell for, you know, $40, $45, especially if they're a special wide size. These, you know, I still might be able to sell for $40. I haven't checked the prices on these tan beige ones um, recently, but still I paid $4.99. I'm going to make money on them. This was kind of a neat find. 
some Transformers, and these are vintage uh, from the 80s. $2.99 is what I paid. I believe they're Generation 2. This is Devastator, and I honestly wasn't sure if they were actually Transformers because they look kind of cheap. I, the sticker looked Transformish. But, uh, you know, sometimes these Chinese knockoffs are very close to the originals. Complete, uh, I think this was around $100. Now, of course, it's missing some of the accessories. But, uh, yeah, some of these by themselves are still selling between $20 and $25. I think this piece was even selling for like $15, I saw on there. Paying $2.99 for the bag, making a low estimate. Uh, it's definitely at least $50 there. I picked up this big tub of Thomas the Tank Engine track. You see it's $12.99. Uh, if this was just in a box, I probably would have passed on it for that price. But I think I can sell all the track for about $40 or $50. But the plastic tote, these plastic totes are like $12 bucks for the clear ones this size. And I use them when I list my items. I store them in clear plastic totes so I'm always needing these so with that in mind um, and the fact that I can make some money uh, selling the track on eBay I went ahead and grabbed it we are almost through everything here I picked up at the thrift store for a dollar just this candle this Halloween candle nothing special it's just a kind of a vintage candle I don't know what it was so far I didn't even look it up of course some candles you know Halloween are definitely worth a lot if they're vintage and got there's certain brands if it's worth selling i'll sell it if not uh, i like it so i picked up a coach bag i don't find you know purses very often and usually if you see coach in goodwill they want you know 30 dollars minimum uh but coach really isn't that great of a brand honestly the, for money makers it's just so saturated and there's so many fakes this one seems to be real. Now, I looked at the tags inside and everything and compared. I can probably sell this for about 30 bucks. I paid $5.99 for it. That's the base purse price at Goodwill. And then I paid $5.99 for this Adidas Barricade bag, backpack. It's in great shape. And some of the comps on these were surprising. Now, I could not find any of this particular color. Some of the other colors were selling for about 30 plus shipping pre-owned. So I'm going to price this $29.99. And I should make about $20 on that and about $20 on the purse. So there's 40 bucks profit. But there you have it, everybody. Some great finds today. It's nice when you can find high-end items like the fan, sewing machine, the brother fax machine sealed, even the space maker is nice. The unit phone. Oh, my now that I think about it, this is going to be a great haul. Before you go, it'd make it even better if you could hit the like button for me. Make sure you are subscribed if you want to keep seeing my videos. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.